One thing stands out as the most dangerous thing in this world. They can make you bleed to death and spread disease, which is one of the reasons why about a million people die every year. Dear lions, are we talking about monsters here? You can see gorillas in the wild. In fact, not a single one of these claims is true. To answer your question, yes, our bugs may be that dangerous. We're talking about mosquitoes. What would happen if all of a sudden all disappeared? That being said, would the human race be better off? What would happen if we got rid of all mosquitoes? But this is the truth. Even though it might not make sense that something as small as a bug could be so dangerous. Plague, yellow fever, dengue fever, and malaria are just some of the diseases that are spread by mosquitoes. If someone is already sick with a certain disease, they will bite that person and then stuff their spit into their body. They will ultimately bite you and run saliva through your system. When a mosquito bites you, its saliva enters your body and moves through your system, allowing you to acquire the virus or germs it carried with it. Mosquitoes are a big problem all over the world, not just for people, but also for other animals and farm animals. This problem affects more than just people. Most of the pain and suffering in the world comes from them. The person who gets bitten could die from even one bite. Our first goal is to get an exact count of all the mosquitoes in the world. It will be hard to figure out how many bugs there really are. Several figures say that Alaska alone has about 7 trillion of them. Yes, we are talking about Alaska. Because the oceans and land are getting warmer, these places are great for mosquitoes. Besides these, there are uncountable millions and billions of other mosquitoes all over the world. There are several things we can do that will help us get rid of them. Bats are safe to have around the house because they eat bugs that fly. Bats can eat 600 mosquitoes in an hour, which means that if we had enough of them, they might be able to get rid of the problem that bites cause all over the world. There would always be a lot of bats in the sky, no matter what. To be honest, that might not be the best thing to do. The last thing that needs to be figured out is how female mosquitoes have babies. People think they're sucking our blood because it tastes good and they're hungry, but they're really feeding their young. The young stages of an insect are called larvae. They get most of their food from worms. So if we can get rid of all our blood, I'll let you know where we're going and then wait calmly for your answer. We're sorry, but we can't move in that direction at all. We might feel like we have to let genetically modified bugs out into the wild. This mosquito won't bite and the babies it makes will not be able to reproduce. We should be able to get rid of all mosquitoes for good if enough of our genetically changed insects have children that are unable to reproduce. This could take a few decades. What should be done next now that they aren't there? That way, their illnesses would keep millions of people from getting sick and dying every year. If you went outside in the summer, you wouldn't have to think about getting bitten by animals. Of course, that is true. While getting rid of all bugs would be great, there would be a lot of bad things that wouldn't happen. What about the patterns we see over and over again in life and other places? The role that mosquitoes play in the food chain is something that we should think about. In general, other animals don't eat a lot of mosquitoes and these animals can live without them. There are, however, birds, bats and frogs that eat a lot of bugs. Also, bugs help plants reproduce but not enough to ensure the species' survival. If this is true, getting rid of mosquitoes might not be the best thing to do. If we did this, we would be the ones to blame for the loss of a whole species. Do a little tap dance on the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Six of the thousands of kinds of mosquitoes thought to exist are known to bite people and make them sick. This is an important point that we shouldn't forget. Besides this, there are a few other reasons to believe that mosquitoes may actually help keep the Amazon jungle healthy. People who are trying to clear the jungle are sometimes slowed down by the bugs because they are dangerous and bothersome. The reason for this is that insects can kill people. For now, let's just be honest with each other. The astonishingly fast rate at which the number of people who call this world home is growing 
The fact that mosquitoes are around might help keep the number in check, which would be good for everyone. Hold on a second, hold on a second, what do I want to say? In the long run, this kind of thing would definitely be helpful. A lot fewer diseases would be found, people would die, and other bad things would happen. But just think about what would happen if, at the same time that bugs went extinct, half of the world's people also died. Many thanks for seeing the video.